Hey, welcome back to Gone in Five. I'm Dr. Jason, everybody's favorite Cairo, coming to you from sunny, beautiful Los Angeles, and we're here to talk about wrist pain again today. Now, wrist pain can really be a pain in the wrist. It can really hurt. Look, I've had wrist pain, I've fallen, um, I've hurt myself, I use my hands all day, so it can be really hard if you're typing, if you're using your hands, if you're a banker, you're in finance, you're a receptionist, whatever you're doing, you're a Cairo, you're writing, you're a writer, it can be really, really, really hard. So what I'm going to do, we did a video on this before, I'm going to show you number two, kind of the second level of wrist pain. Now, um, here's what you want to do. So we talked about doing some stretches on the table. We're going to go into the plank. Now a lot of people know what a plank is, but what you're going to do is you're going to start in this, what we call this tabletop position. You're going to get your wrist as perpendicular to your forearms as possible. A lot of people don't have a good wrist range of motion. You want to rock like this. So if you're stuck here, you want to rock forward like this, keeping your elbows locked. And what that's going to do is allow you to increase the range of motion in your wrist. Now, the next thing you're going to do, if your wrists are weak or you have wrist pain, we got to get them strong. You're going to pop up to a plank. You're going to hold yourself straight, turn your elbows outwards like that external rotation and you're gonna hold and practice holding this for about a minute at a time. You can work your way up, but we've gotta strengthen your wrists. Now once you do that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your hands this way, and we're going to start in this tabletop position here. You can rock back, opening up the wrist flexors here to get rid of that wrist pain, and you can even pop it into a plank again. Lock those elbows. You can move if you want, or you can just simply hold, okay? You've got to strengthen your wrist if you wanna get rid of the pain. Doing a plank or putting your hand on the floor should not hurt, this is critical. Now the next level, this is a fun one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start this way, but let me tell you, this is an advanced move. I'm still working on it. You're gonna look at this and go, oh my God. We gotta do it, okay? You wanna be strong, then don't be weak. We're going to start here. Now for many people, just this position alone is going to be scary and even painful. So what you do is you just stay. Do it for 10 seconds at a time, twice a day. 30 seconds at a time, twice a day. A minute at a time, twice a day. If you feel a little bit of pain there, you can back off. You can rock. And what you can do is take it to the next level and go to a plank position. Lock your elbows and work on strengthening your wrists. Look, your wrists, your hands are designed to be strong. We were climbing rocks and trees and running around in the wild. Our hands are designed to be strong. They're not designed to be weak. So what's really critical in order to have no wrist pain is to make sure your muscles are firing properly. Remember the nerves that control your wrist come out of the neck. So if you've got a wrist problem, you almost certainly have a subluxation or spinal misalignment in your neck. Not always, but usually. So these are great stretches and exercises to strengthen the wrist and get rid of pain. But if that doesn't help, you may want to look to a chiropractor to get to the root of the problem. Thanks for watching. This is Gone in Five.